Okay, let's see. For the following exercise, analyze the graph, analyze the graphs of the derivative. Ah, then list all the intervals where f is increasing and decreasing. Okay, well, these graphs are the derivatives already, so that's helpful. So that means in 201, um, where f is increasing or decreasing, decreasing when it's negative, let's do increasing first. Increasing, decreasing, Whoop. Uh, increasing, minus two to one, and then two to infinity, and then decreasing, minus infinity two. Then minus one two. Two oh two. Um increasing minus two to minus one. Minus one to zero. And then one to infinity. Decreasing. Minus infinity to minus two, zero to one, two oh three, increasing one to infinity, decreasing minus infinity to zero. Zero to one, two oh four. Hmm, <laughs> increasing. Not sure about the zero. It's hard to tell what's happening there. Um, minus infinity to minus one, minus one. To one, one to infinity, and then uh, okay. two oh five, minus one to zero, zero to one, minus two to minus one, one to two. Okay, 206, increasing, minus 1 to 0, 0 to, actually, are these graphs going to infinity? I, uh, I should, I assume they were. Yeah, I should check the answers now. Let's see. Let's see, 201, increasing, yeah, it looks like it has infinity here, minus 2 to minus 1, and 2 to infinity, decreasing, minus 2, uh -huh. and minus 1 to minus 2, 203, 203, decreasing, uh, less than 1, but actually, oh, the 0. It's included. An increase in... So I'll have to check 203. 205. Decrease in. Minus 2 to minus 1. And 1 to 2. And then... 205... Minus two to minus one, oh no, increasing. Uh, minus uh, minus one to one. Oh, and I missed um, 
outside the, the two. Minus infinity to minus two and two to infinity. Okay, so I, the graph must continue. Okay, let's see. So two oh one is okay. Now two oh three. Two oh three. The zero is included. Interesting. Is it increasing still at that point? Hmm. And then what did I miss in two oh five? Oh, yeah. Outside here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That That's fair enough. That's what I wasn't sure about, actually. That's why I needed to check the back. But, um, so that means in, in 206, then, yeah. Is it because... Hmm. Increasing. Increasing. Let's check. The notes here. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this now. I'm not convinced. I'll have to check. I'll have to check for sure in 203. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Okay, let's go back to 206. Uh, 206. Increasing. 1 to 0, 0 to infinity. Uh, and then also minus infinity to minus 2. And decreasing minus 2 to minus 1. And then the max and min will be at minus 2, minus 2, minus 1, and 0. Increasing minus two to minus one, uh, brrr, I'm not sure. Point seven five, no, that's a uh, point four to one, decreasing minus infinity to minus two. Minus one to zero. One to two. Two to infinity. And then the points minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Let's check the answers. Two six two oh seven. There should be an answer. Two oh seven. Increase in. Increase in minus two to minus one. Um. It says one to two. Yeah, minus two to mi minus one. Yeah. Zero to one and greater than two. Oh, okay. So it's just the graph isn't really. Accurate, that is a zero then. Okay, fine. Yeah. 
Um, okay. And then decrease and minus two, minus one to zero and one to two. And one to two. And then, oh, you have to say if it's max or min. Okay. Minus one, one, minus two and two. Um, minus one, minus two, zero, two. Okay, so let's just say if they're max or min. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, where were we? 206. Okay, so the minus two. The second derivative is decreasing. Um, if the second, if the if the slope here is negative, it means the second derivative is negative, which makes it a max at minus two. So that's a max, and then that's a min, and then zero that's a saddle i think then in 207 that's a min um that's a max um that's a min um that's a max um that's a min let's check the answer again maximum minus one and one and then min everywhere else yep okay Okay. Let's see. Two oh eight. Um that looks exponential, so it's always increasing. Never decreasing. And no max or min. 209. Um, always increasing, never decreasing, zero, and that zero is a mid, 210. Okay. Increasing minus one to zero, zero to one, and one to infinity. Decrease in minus infinity to minus one. And then the turning points minus one, zero, one. Min saddle min saddle and then hmm, hmm negative positive and, uh, i think it's a saddle as well or an uh, at least you can call it an inflection point i guess Hmm. We should check our answers for those. Yeah, this is taking a bit longer than I thought. Okay. Ooh. Two 
209 increasing over Oh, did I? I must have misread it. Oh, yeah. What am I? Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Hang on. 209. Increasing. Decreasing. A little bit too fast there. 208, yeah, okay. Okay. So I think I just need to go back to this one, 203. I'm not sure about this now. Is, this, is it increasing? It's a saddle point. Increasing saddle point, no. It's not an increase in saddle point. Hmm. I, I'll have to check it. I'll have to look up. I'm not sure about that. But I'll leave it there for today. Uh, we'll continue next time from 2... Well, I'll just finish 2.11 since it's on the page. 2.11. Okay. Okay, so... 2.11. And... In the following exercise, as we have then this all the inflection points, inflection points, and the intervals of f that are concave up or concave down. Oh, positive. First derivative is zero. It's a turning point. See, if you were to draw the original graph. What's happening is it's upwards and here it's sloping downwards. So, you know, it could just be like this. There's no inflection point. Um, and it's what I call convex, which I'll have to check the back. I forget what that's called in this book. Okay. That's called, no inflection point, that's called concave up. I guess concave up. <laughs> and then what I call concave is what they call concave down. Down. Fair enough. I have to think more about that 203.